company in Michigan. She's actually one of my good friends. She did my photo shoot for Root Weird back in the day. Um, she asks, I have just been diagnosed with narcolepsy with severe cataplexy. This morning, as I was scrolling on Facebook, I found an article about marijuana and sleep. So my question is, which marijuana would be best for someone like me? Okay. Um, so first, let me do my speech that I'm not a doctor and this isn't medical advice. But topic is cannabis and sleep. Um, there, cannabis can have a profound effect on your sleep cycle, um, particularly THC. And right now there's a bunch of hype about CBD being a miracle treatment for um, epilepsy and a bunch of different conditions. And, you know, I'm a big believer in that. It's totally real. But THC also is used to treat epilepsy. And particularly in adults, for, you know, these high CBD varietals just came out. But for decades, people have been using cannabis to, like regular high THC cannabis to treat epilepsy. And it's less clear exactly the mechanism that that works under, but I, I suspect that it's all about the sleep cycle because most epilepsy drugs, we don't understand how they work. They're just powerful sedatives that affect the sleep cycle. And a lot of, not everybody, but a lot of people who consume high THC cannabis report it having a big effect on their dreams. And for the most part, people who consume large amounts of cannabis report having greatly diminished or no dreams. And it's not clear whether they're just not remembering their dreams or whether they're not having dreams at all, but there, you know, there is a big effect that consuming a large amount of cannabis right before bed has on your sleep cycle. So for somebody who's got something like narcolepsy or cataplexy that, you know, it's a, a serious sleep condition, Messing with that in some way is likely going to, you know, have some effect on the condition, whether positive or negative. And most of the drugs that, you know, a pharmaceutical company would recommend for treating those conditions, they don't really understand how they work. They're just, you know, they're tweaking your sleep cycle and seeing if that ha has the desired effect. Given that cannabis is so much safer than the other options out there, I think it makes a lot of sense to pursue that. In terms of how best to pursue it, the, you know, for somebody during the day, typically they want, you know, they'll, they'll either vaporize it or smoke it or, you know, something. At nighttime, you want a much longer effect. You want it to last, you know, for, for a much longer time. So an edible makes a lot of sense, um, whether it's a tincture or a food product or something that's going to stay in your system a lot longer, maybe take a little longer to kick in, but stays in your system. And I mean, a high CBD varietal is worth trying, but my suspicion is a high THC varietal is going to be, you know, the where it's at. And those are much more common and easily available. Cool. So, yeah. All right. Thanks, Stephanie. Thank you.